All right, it's day one here in Singapore. And I've reached out to some friends and told them that I am here and I, I'd love to meet up. They were like, sure, let's meet up. What's your plan? And that's where I failed miserably because I am here without a plan. All I know is that I just want to go around the city, revisit the places I shot way back in 2018, now with perhaps better gear and definitely a better eye. And... If you haven't been to Singapore, and you're someone who really likes cityscapes, architecture, urban street, anything related to a city, this is absolute paradise. Singapore is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And I do dare say that even if I haven't been to all the great cities in the world. But I know for a fact that this is one of the best places to shoot. At the very least, for photographers, it is absolute heaven. And so I started the day, I didn't really plan on where to go. I just grabbed my gear. I didn't know which gear I wanted to use or planned to use. So I just brought everything that I had in my bag and I just started walking. Now, aside from the beautiful city itself, one of the best things about Singapore is public transportation. There are buses everywhere, there are trains going around in and around the city, and of course, there are also private cars and also ride-sharing. However, this is my fourth or fifth time in Singapore, and I always prefer to take public transportation. And so I walked to the nearest train station, and I figured that I don't mind having to walk like 15 minutes because I would be able to look around and see what's around the place I am staying at and it just simply became a photo walk. I planned to get here at around 4 p.m. It's almost 6 p.m. now. I had my first meal of the day just a few minutes ago but you know what? Everything was worth it. And so around five minutes into my walk, I see this amazing row of buildings. And even though I do work as an architectural photographer, I know nothing about architecture. It's just that I really appreciate architecture and I perhaps know how to photograph it a little bit better than some. So I see these buildings and I just get reminded of why I love Singapore. I see these buildings and barely anything obstructs the view and I go up a footbridge and find the perfect vantage point and I shoot. And by that I mean no one gave a damn. No one cared. If you knew where I'm from, if you do that in the Philippines, in Manila, most of the time you're gonna get in trouble just for carrying a camera around. And yes, I do have a tripod with me right here, but everything I've shot up to this point was handheld and I'm doing this video now with the camera on the ledge. So everything is free here in terms of photography. So right there and then I realized what I needed to take out and this is perhaps the most unusual lens for a photo walk in a city for a traveler but you know what it was so worth it. So I have the a7 IV right here with my favorite screen right here which is really helpful if you're doing run and gun shooting and you need to see lower or higher perspectives without having to you know climb a ladder or whatever and i refuse to use a tripod during the day because i wasn't doing any long exposure stuff so i did everything with this handheld with bracketing of three exposures, two EV intervals, and that's it. Now the secret weapon to that, of course, with the A7 IV is the Lawa 15mm f4.5 shift. I've had this for a while, I've worked a lot with it, and you know, it's the perfect lens to be bringing around if 
you're in Singapore looking at architecture. Now, I'm absolutely unsure if other people do this, but I've gotten used to just walking around with this shift lens and just trying to photograph what I can during the day. And perhaps me doing that in the city where I live kind of prepared me for a photo walk like this. Now, of course, I'm supposed to be on vacation, but you know what? If I were doing this professionally, if I had to photograph as many buildings as I can here in Singapore, I would still have the A7 IV, but I would perhaps have two lenses. Of course, the 15mm f4.5 shift and the younger brother of this lens, which is the 20mm. However, since I don't have that lens, I don't own one, what I do is use the Super 35 or the APS-C mode. I assigned the top right button of my A7 IV as a shortcut for the Super 35 mode. So basically factor in times 1.5 or 150% of 15 millimeters, that's pretty much around 22.5. And that just makes sense. Now, if I had to come up with all full frame, full resolution, 33 megapixel photos, then I would have another A7 IV or maybe an A7 R4 perhaps, plus the 20 millimeter or vice versa. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be spending the next five days doing something like this and the photos will be all over in all of my content. I'm gonna try and do more content about cityscapes as well. I'm aiming to do some sort of a cityscape photographer's travel guide video, but I'm not sure if I can pull that off, let's see. But right now, the sun is gonna set in about an hour and I'm just gonna drink my Malaysian iced coffee and I'm gonna head on over to Marina Bay or somewhere, I don't know yet, but definitely I'm gonna shoot the cityscape tonight. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you're from Singapore and I somehow release this video while I'm still here, then reach out to me. But in any case, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.